Good morning and a very blessed Easter to you. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. I'd like to read to you from Matthew chapter 28, beginning at the first verse. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, as an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him the gods shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is go going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. At such a time as this, times like we've never seen before, we hope we won't see again. At times like this, how can we survive? How can we cope? How can we even thrive? Is it possible? It seems to me that what used to be normal is gone. A bit like the Gospel of Matthew puts it, there was a great earthquake. We are living through a great earthquake of COVID-19 and all its implications. It's an international disaster. Things, one way or another, will never be the same again. And none of us knows quite how that will be. Of course, some things can help us to cope, at least for a while. I'm fortunate I get a pension every month, or maybe you get a salary, maybe you have some savings, but what about those who don't have them? What if our money fades away? We can't rely on it forever. I'm fortunate as well. I have health. I have access to medical care. I can take vitamins and get flu jabs for what it's worth. But will they really save me? Will they really meet the emptiness that is inside of all of us? And food, household goods. We've seen how people have stockpiled all sorts of things. When I went to the shops the other day, there was no flour, for example. But we're fortunate. We have food to last a week or two. And the internet, wow, what a gift at this time. That's how we're able to talk like this. And yet, somehow meeting people and social distancing at the same time don't quite work. We all have this deep inner need to, to be held, to touch somebody, to have close communion with one another. Radio and television... Well, you can be entertained for so long. You can 
look at so many YouTube videos about how to cope with COVID-19, a million different opinions, do they really help? Well, they help to some extent, and yet there's a deep dis-ease within us that needs to be met in a deeper spiritual way. It seems to me that COVID-19 is showing us that the things that we thought were secure and stable are perhaps not as secure and perhaps not as stable as we thought they were. Especially for those who are poor, especially for those who are vulnerable or weak or elderly. And so what can we rely on? The thing that struck me about Matthew 28, the account of Jesus' resurrection, is that it was something that wasn't there that gave the women and the disciples hope. They went to see the body of Jesus. They went to embalm it. They went to mourn. And they found that he wasn't there. He'd been crucified. They'd seen that. He was dead. They'd seen that. But the words of the angels, you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here. He's moved on. He's been raised. He's gone ahead of you to Galilee. And so all these other things, health and wealth and supplies and beauty and technology and entertainment can give us a little bit of temporary relief, but they never solve the deep, deep problem within us. Jesus, who wasn't there in the tomb, can do that. For these women, the old normal was gone. The angels said to them, don't be afraid. The new normal is here. Jesus who was crucified for you and me, is alive. The old has gone, said Paul in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Behold, the new has come. And then the angel said to them, He's gone ahead of you to Galilee. Go, tell the disciples to go there. And there they'll find him. Jesus goes ahead of us in this time of uncertainty, in this time of confusion and fear. He goes ahead of us. We need to go and find where he is and what he's doing. We need to seek him with all our heart. We need to go forward into the unknown, not knowing what's there, but knowing that Jesus is there already, waiting for us, preparing the way for us, ready to show us something new, ready to comfort and strengthen and guide us into the new reality, whatever that may be. So perhaps the most important thing we can do at this time is learn how to relate to Jesus, perhaps in new ways, because some of the ways that we had and that we took for granted, like being in church on Easter Day, are no longer there. Seek Jesus in a deeper prayer life. Set aside some time every morning, every evening, perhaps at noontime, as the Archbishop is encouraging us, to tell Jesus how you're feeling and to say, Lord, show yourself to me in this new reality, this new normal. Perhaps we need to learn new ways to relate to one another. How about intentionally making contact with someone that you might have seen in church today? How about phoning up somebody Maybe God has put someone on your heart. Phone them. Send them a WhatsApp. Contact them. Connect with them. 
even when we're scattered like this, we remain the body of Christ. And if we can connect to one another using the tools of technology, then at least we can build one another up and strengthen one another in the faith. Perhaps we need to learn new ways to relate to the world as well. How can you help those who are more needy than you? Well, there are all sorts of initiatives happening to feed the poor. Perhaps you can give something to one of them. I pray that you will discover Jesus where you haven't discovered him before. And that as you do that, your faith will be strengthened and that you'll be able to go into whatever the future is with a greater faith, a greater love, a greater joy, a greater confidence, because Jesus who died is not in the tomb. He's alive. And he can live in and with you and me. Amen. It's early on Easter morning. Stompy is still sleeping. But wait. Is he waking up? Good morning, Stompy, and Happy Easter. Oh, good morning, and Happy Easter egg to you too. Oh, but it's lockdown. I'm feeling sad. I can't visit my friends. I'm scared of getting sick. I just feel empty inside. I had a strange dream in the night. I dreamt that a voice said to me, Look for what isn't there. For what isn't there? What does that mean? I'd better start searching. I see something at the end of the bed. Oh. I'll have to jump. Ready? And steady. And jump! Whoa! Money! That's what I need. Lots and lots of... Mm, but that's not going to help me. What if some people don't have money? What if... I can't go and buy things anyway. And anyway, it's here. I've got to look for something that's not here. I've got to find something that isn't here. I wonder what I can't find. Oh, there's something interesting. Oh, I'll have to get up. That could be hard work. Oh, what's that? Vitamins. That will help me to feel better. Or will it? Might make me a bit better, but... I still can't see my friends. I'm still afraid of COVID-19. I'm still afraid of the future. I'd better carry on searching. Well, the vitamins didn't help, but maybe I can find some fitness. Let me do a little bit of exercising. And what else? Sit up. There we go. And what about?
about some precepts. That will make me strong. Ah, oh, no, I can fight that COVID-19. No, but it doesn't help to fight it. It's a virus. And I still feel empty. I need my friends. I think I'll go and search outside. I wonder what I can find here outside. Oh, Easter eggs. Yes, that's just what I need. I'll feel great when I've eaten some chocolate. Oh, but then they'll be finished. What use is that? I still feel empty inside and worried. I'd better go and search for what isn't here. What's this? The stone has been rolled away. I remember this is where they buried Jesus. <gasps> He's not there. Now I understand. Search for what isn't there. Jesus isn't there because he's alive. He rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for me. Now come into my heart.